What's Ham YouTube man? It's your boy Dre back with another video man. And um today I'm gonna do a little more tuning up, a little ignition work with the vet, you know what I'm saying? It's since it's running a little more better now. And I know once I do all this, whatever I got going on today, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna um, be doing the distributor cap, the rotor, the fuel filter, the ignition coil, and the spark plugs. I'm putting that all on today. Just the whole full initial tune up, so you know what I'm saying. It's looking at least I know it's gonna run way better once I do all that on there. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with that, man. No matter of fact, let me go and show y'all the tools I got right here, man. All the parts I got. So this is the shoe little cap. I already got that in there. This is the uh rotor. I don't even know if you can see that out, but that's the little ignition coil that go on top of the rotor. And that's the little fuel fixer. Yeah. And I got the spark plugs in the back seat. Out of the car. Yeah. These are the ones I got right here. Let me see if I can grab them. These right here. The spark plugs. So I'm about to go ahead and get everything going with the car the process. First, I'm going to go ahead and take all these wires off. Take care of the, the spark plug wires. Take them off. I'm gonna put some PB blast on the um, bolts, so that won't be no hard to come out. And then take this off. Take the distributor cap off. Take that off. You know, um, go on the other side. Get up under the car and see if I can take the fuel pump off, fuel fits off. I meant. And then yeah, let's go and get straight into it. Alright, so I put my PB blaster. Let me show y'all what it looked like. This right here. We'll get anything off if you got a hard time getting any bolts off or anything. Use this and I promise you to come off. But I'm gonna start off with this side because it's gonna be the hardest side as you can see. One spark plug all the way back there. Then you got another one like right up under that header. Then you got one right where that there. And then you got another one right. They're on the other side of the head. It's kind of hard to see with this camera. There it go. But yeah, so I'm gonna start on this side since it's gonna be the hardest side and I figured out, since it's got this little thing already missing, I'm gonna go ahead and just, just get like a little socket, probably an extension, and then get that first one out and then work my way and see how to get the rest of these out. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit this camera down. Just take these out right quick since it's gonna be the hardest side. I know that's not gonna be easy. Take this side out and then get them replaced and see how they look. Alright, so I started with that back one. That was by far the hardest one to get up. I ain't gonna lie, it's a real tight space, but as you can see, I definitely needed some new spark plugs. Look at that, man. These things gone. But, got the first one off. Let me see if I can take it out of here. There I go, yeah. That how it look. And, um, so yeah, I might move on to the rest of them. Get, uh, keep going on, and I'm gonna take the rest of them off and show you how they look. Alright, so I'm back now. I finally got all the spark plugs taken out, even the front one. I just needed to put two extensions together and you know, take them out. This is how they look. You can definitely tell it needed to be changed, man. Look at all of them. There you go right there. Let me put the flashlight down. Show y'all these things, man. Gone. All of them like that, but these are new ones. This is how the new ones look. Boom. So they match up just the exact same. So yeah, way better though, man. So I'm gonna go and put these in, and yeah, see how I get it done. One thing we need to do before you put these spark plugs in, I forgot to say, is actually put a little bit of this around the uh, tip of the um spark plug, the part that goes inside the head. You only need to drench it in, but just put a little bit on there, rub it on there, just lubricate it a little bit. And then put it in there before you actually put the spark plugs on, just so they can be lubricated. And after that, yeah, you should be straight. So I'm about to actually put this side in right quick, and then I'm gonna go to the other side, remove those, and then yeah, start on that side. All right, it took me a little minute, but I finally got all this side back intact. I got all the spark plugs back in. That one right there. The other one up under there. I'm about to fake move the camera. Yeah, that one, and then the other one in the front right there. So now, all I gotta do now is just move on to the next side. It is going to be way easier because I got more space. I always want to start on the hard side because it makes me way harder. But these right there, they all visible. And then the spot I can get into them at. So 
my titties out real quick. It should take me a little longer than like 10 minutes to take all this out, put them back in. And yeah, I'm gonna catch I want to take these out and put the new ones in. All right, so now I got the driver's side out. You can see these horrible as well. These probably look worse, but got both sets up. Now I gotta put the new ones in. What I'm about to do right now, these is pretty fast. That was pretty quick and easy. So I'm about to go and slap these new ones in right quick. And um, yeah, get straight to it. All right, so now I finally got both of these sides installed. Both of them in. All the spark plugs back in. So now what I'm about to do is take this cap off, move on to the distributor cap, since it's gonna be a pretty easy fix too. I'm gonna just do everything all at once. I gotta make sure I put this uh, engine oil cap, I mean this, this uh, line back in. And um, So what you wanna do is make sure you remember these numbers, cause all these numbers are certain spark plugs and it should be labeled. So what I'm gonna do is I got a marker. Let me just mark each one of them with a marker right here on the tip of them, something like that, so I can remember so I don't forget. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna probably take a picture of it as well, but I'm gonna go and take that cap off and uh, get to removing the distributor cap. Okay, so now that I got the cap off, you see as you got, what, one bolt right there on that side, and you got another bolt on this side right there. And it's gonna take, uh, what size is this? Six and a half millimeter? Yeah, six and a half millimeter to take those two out. So I'm gonna take those two out and remember to disconnect this little wire right here. And I'm also gonna pop all these uh, spark plugs as well since I already got it off. So my first thing I'm gonna do is unscrew this, take this off, and I'll uh, do the next part. All right, now that I got that little cap off, next thing you want to do is unscrew this. And as you can see, you got the four bolts right there on each corner. Unscrew that, and that should pop out, and just slide these little cables out as well. All I gotta do is just slide them out, or if you want to. And as a matter of fact, I got to say, it's a, I forgot to tell you, it's another, it's like, I think it's like four more bolts. It's around the distributor cap. I'm trying to show you. There's one right there. And then you got another one like they're all on the inside. Let me see. It's another one right there. And another one like back there where they're behind that wire. So once you take those four off, the whole thing should come out. But make sure you disconnect it right here first. And then you can unscrew the top and everything. But yeah, those are the four things you got to take to pull it out with. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to see if I can find me the right side screw to take out this. Uh, yeah, because they kind of tight in there. So I'm going to find something I can use to take it out with. And I'm going to get right back to y'all. All right, so now I got the distributor out. This right here is your rotor. Only thing this got on it is just two screws. So that's really gonna just come right out if they take the screws out. That's really easy to replace. And then here's the uh, distributor that I took out. So what I'm about to do is now, I'm about to um, get everything lined back up with the um, O and just make sure everything looks exactly how it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna put this one in right quick since I already got that one already. Already right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw that one, put this new one in. And then get this right here all pieced together and let y'all see how it look. All right, so here I got both of the uh, distributors. So first thing first, I'm gonna remove these four bolts. And um, I already took the bolts from out the bottom of it right here, uh, the four. And you already got them started in here because you're gonna need to get them started because you're gonna need extension to actually go in there. But get them started, put them in there, that's already replaced them. So next, I need to take these off. And everything will be the same size. It's a uh, Six and a half millimeter, if you can see it. But everything makes the same size. Let me go and take this off so I can see how everything operates. One screw. And as you can see, before you take this one off, it's a wire connected to this onto this screw. So make sure you remember that. And that's gonna be the wire coming from the ignition coil. So now, all you have to do now is just lift this up. It should pop right out. There's some kind of in there though. There we go. Lift it up and everything should slide out. Just like that. And as you can see, it got this spring and this hole inside there. And that's this one got the same thing. And it comes with your little pack as well with the little spring and a little, little round piece to put over it. So 
And then they also come with four new bolts. I'm gonna just use those four new bolts. What I'm gonna do is right now, I'm gonna replace everything on a new one. Put the new ones on. I got my new ignition coil right here. So I'm gonna put the new one on. Uh, just do everything how I just, let me reassemble it how I just took this one apart. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I wanna get everything done. All right, now as you see, I got everything hooked back up. Good to go. So yeah, exactly the same. So what I'm about to do is now I'm about to clean this cap off first because I gotta reuse the cap. Clean this cap off, slide this back in there, put the cap back on, screw the cap back on, um, put this back on. Cause I already got the rotor already in there because it was only literally two screws. As you can see, I got the new one in already. So all I gotta do now is just screw this one now because it was only four bolts. I knew it was gonna be pretty easy so I just wanted to go ahead and knock it out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is now, take this new one, go ahead and take it to the front, bolt it up, and um, bolt the cap on, and the next thing I think will be the fuel filter. All right, so now I got the distributor cap back in, all I gotta do now is just uh, hook the uh, spark plugs back up. I already got a number, as you can see. Plug those back up, throw the little small cap back on, put the little other cap back on. Done with that, and I'm about to see if I can get to this fuel filter, because it's actually under the car on the passenger side. If I can't get to it today, then I'm gonna probably just do it tomorrow. Where I can actually pull the car up on the ramps or something like that. But um, if not, then yeah, I'm gonna check it out after this. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish bolting this together and I'm gonna show you how the fuel filter. Alright, so now if y'all can see, the fuel filter is really right there. Literally right up under the car. So it's kind of really hard for me to get to that right there. I know it's kind of a bad sight. Let's see where there it go. But yeah, it's literally like right up under the car. So I don't know how I'm going um, I need to lift it up really to get to that because that's really a hard spot. Because it's in the car is super, super low. So yeah, as you can see, it's super low. So let me get up. What I'm about to do now, I'm about to um, see if everything is tightened back up. Make sure everything is good. All the spark plugs on good. Um, I already got this on. Uh, ignition coil should be straight. Everything should be straight. Push all these on tight, make sure nothing's falling off. And then um, I'm about to fire it up, see if it cranks up. All right, so I'm in the video, you know. I'm about to see if it crank. Let us see that real minute. I'm about to just try to crank it. Let's see how that sound. Why is it that? For real? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, this side was right. Alright, so it's actually smoking on this side. Because the spark plug, for some reason, I don't think it's all the way in there. So I might actually take this side back off. Um, and the other side and see what I'm actually missing. And look up a couple videos right quick and see what I did wrong and see if I can do something better right quick. What's happening, YouTube, man? As you can see, man, it's the next day in the morning, man. So what happened was with the car, why I went crank and why it caught fire with a little bit of spark fire. When I crunk it, is I didn't have the spark plugs all the way tightened. So what I did was um, I went through, I was tightened up all the spark plugs. And um, I actually got a thread chaser because I see, I can tell the front spark plug in the front wasn't going all the way in. So I got this right here and I put a little bit of grease on it and I put it all in. I drove it all the way in and I drove it back out and I had like a little bit of debris, like a little rust or whatever that was inside that was preventing it from going all the way inside. That's why I caught a little spark or whatever because it wasn't all the way in there. So I got that, cleaned that out and I did the rest of them as well. So, so it wouldn't um, catch uh, fire again, whatever. So no smoke won't be coming out. So. I cleaned all of them out. Uh, I also put anti seeds on them as well before I put them back in there. So I did that. Tighten them all back up. Um, check the plugs. And um, also check the ignition coil. Make sure everything on there is right. So it should be good. Enough. All I gotta do now is hook the battery back up. Cause I'm tightening this side up as well. This side was already pretty good. This side really wasn't. It was just that side over there that was. It wasn't going in all the way for some reason, but these spark plugs went in pretty good. So what I gotta do now is just uh, connect this battery back up and um, let it uh, charge right quick and um, try to crank it one more time and let's see how I do. 
All right, so now I got the battery hooked back up. What I'm about to do now is try to crank it. Give it a couple tries. Let me see. Oh, even these got on now. That's different. All right, let's see. Give it some time. I don't know if I'm gonna give it gas or not. I'm gonna try it now. It's straight? Yeah. All right. Back spark plug not all the way in because I hear it ticking. So what I'm gonna have to do is take that back one off and actually tighten it up a little bit more. Cause that's the only one I hear. But other than that, it's it's great so far. So I'm gonna take that back one off, tighten it up, and I'm gonna crank it up one more time. I'm gonna let it cool off right quick. Tighten that back one up. And I'm crank it up one more time, let y'all see how it sounds. All right, I'm gonna tighten it up once again. Now we're going for attempt number three, man. So hopefully, you know, third time always the charm. So let's just see how it turns up. Let's out the way. Let me just let it sit here. I'm gonna give it some time. Let the battery charge it once again because I done took it off so many times. And then, um, I'm gonna catch y'all as soon as I'm about to crank it. I'm gonna give it about two minutes and I'm gonna cut the camera back on. Alright. Now I'm about to give it some time to crank. I'm gonna turn it through one more time. Alright, now I should crank. Now I gotta do the other side. The other back side. I'm gonna do. That one. That back one back there. So now I gotta tighten that one up. Cause I hear that one as well. Since I tightened that one up. So now I'm gonna tighten that one up. And I'm gonna come back again for the fourth time. So let's see how it go. Alright, I'm pretty feeling pretty, pretty positive about this chance right here. So. It should be good this time. It shouldn't hear no ticking or nothing like that this time when I crank it. So let's give it a try. I'm going to see what it do. Turn it off, turn it back on, see what it do. And then, um, 
Go play with it, but man, until then, catch y'all next video. It's your boy Greg. Come on.